What is up, Bulls Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button. Today's episode, we're talking about the Chicago Bulls losing to the Houston Rockets 127 to 117. And in this game, the Bulls gave up 40 plus points in the first quarter. Right. We also saw Iota Sumo with 35 points, and we saw DeMar DeRozan and Dylan Brooks both get ejected for flagrant two fouls. We'll talk about all that, but first, you got to hear the intro. Give me the hot sauce! Give me the hot sauce, Bob. For the lead! Go! Oh. Did you not get the memo? Do Sumo for the lead! I want to go higher! Oh my goodness! Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. So in a game where the Chicago Bulls and the Houston Rockets both needed a win badly, the Rockets coming in on a winning streak, the Bulls just could not pull it out. They went down early, going down by 20 points, and it was one of those games where you realized they were going to have to fight back the entire time. Now, the Bulls didn't just give up originally, right? So through this game, the Bulls fought. They tried to get themselves back into the game, bringing it down to under five points. And also, after going down again, bringing it back down to around 10 points. But it seemed like whenever the Bulls got close to catching the Rockets, the Rockets did something to take over the game and go back up by 12 to 15. And this is the issue with this team. The Chicago Bulls keep going down 20 to 25 points in the game and hoping they can fight back, and that's just not something you want to see, right? They need to learn how to take over games. I don't want to see you putting effort into the game after it's over or after you're down 20 or after you're down 40. Put effort right from the get-go. It seems like this game, the only person who started out actually trying was Ayo Desumu and Vooch. They were the only two people doing the right thing. And that takes me to another issue I have with this team before we start talking about the stats. The Bulls seem to do things that work, and then they stop, right? To start this game, the Bulls were riding the hot hand, riding Ayo DeSumo's hand, and they were also getting the ball to Vooch, right? I was getting down, getting into the lane, and doing his work. Vooch was playing strong in the paint, and then the Rockets went on a run. And once that happened, the Bulls crumbled. Right? They stopped having Io attack. They stopped finding Vooch in the paint. And what they started to do was force threes because the Rockets hit threes. And that's an issue the Bulls seem to have. If a team starts to get hot and hit threes in front of them, they try to fight back by also hitting threes. And that is partially because Vooch will stop going to the post. For some reason, if another team hits two or three threes, Vooch tries to take a three-point shot. I don't know why, but he does. And then when he does it, everyone else does it. And then they start taking quick shots. And they stop doing the thing that got them all of the points in the first place. Okay? This was a game where Ida Sumu had 35 points. His career high. Two rebounds, two assists. Okay? He was putting points on the board. 13 for 18 from the field. 5 for 6 from the three-point line. 4 for 4 from the free throw line. Vooch started this game out hot, getting to the rim. He didn't do a lot in the second half of this game because the Bulls stopped going towards him. They didn't even go towards Drum in this game. For some reason, they didn't realize they had bigs anymore. 16 points for Vooch with 14 rebounds, 6 assists, 7 for 16 from the field, and 1 for 5 from the three-point line. Because whenever the Rockets went on a run, Vooch tried to take a three-point shot he didn't need to take. Okay? Those were the two who really did the most work for this team. Right? When you look at it, I would assume when Vooch were hot. The Bulls didn't stick with them, and then they didn't know what to do the rest of the game. Alex Caruso, 12 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. He did okay. Terry Craig, 10 points, 4 rebounds. DeMar DeRozan, 16 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. And honestly, DeMar was having a pretty bad shooting night. 4 for 15 from the field. You saw that there was some frustration. He was feeling like he got fouled. Not feeling he was fouled. They just didn't call it. This was a game where the rest were letting them play. We saw a lot of times with Vooch going into the post, having people foul him, hack him, and it wasn't getting called while he was trying to get position. So he stopped trying to do that because sometimes the Bulls seem like they're not that strong of a team. But DeMar DeRozan took exception to that, okay? He felt like he got fouled towards the third. I believe it was the third quarter, towards the end of it. And when he got fouled, he came back on the other side and basically tackled <laughs> Green. Okay, 
I don't know why he felt that that was the right thing to do, but I can say as a Bulls fan, I'm not one of the people who said it was bad. I enjoyed it, okay? I'm going to be real with you 100%. I like when the Bulls get aggressive. Be the bad boy Bulls. Let teams know, let the refs know you do not accept getting fouled and getting hacked and nothing happening from it, okay? And it seems like the Bulls are starting to learn that. We've seen a few times in the last few weeks where Vooch, Drummond, Kobe, DeRozan, they're all getting to a point where when they feel like they're getting fouled, they're going to show you, cool, you don't want to call one, we're going to make you call one. Oh, you want to get in my face? We're going to get in your face. We also saw the whole Bulls bench the other night get ready to go. This is what I want to see from this team. Show that you have a backbone and don't let teams try to dog you. Fight back. And that's something that you got to do sometimes. DeMar Rosen got ejected from this game for a flagrant two. Um, Dylan Brooks got ejected as well because he decided to come grab DeMar because that was a smart decision. And he's just that type of player where he likes to get into it. He likes to make things annoying for everybody. He's a gritty, I'm going to put my my fist in the air and try to make the most show possible to try to get you out of your game. But he also got ejected for what he did. And he also took a quick elbow. When you look at this game, that's something I'm okay with having. DeMar getting ejected, it did cause us probably to lose this game, but I'm hoping it strikes a fire in the Bulls and lets them know that he has heart, right? That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you do things like that, and then you go on a run. But he said, I'm not letting it happen, right? So the Bulls did that. There wasn't a lot of points there. When you look at the bench, the bench was... Basically non-existent. Kobe White did come back this game from his injury. 13 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists off the bench. 2 for 5 from the 3-point line. He was on a minutes restriction. He didn't play a lot. Andre Drummond, 9 points, 8 rebounds. Dalen Terry, 6 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. And I do want to take a moment to talk about Dalen Terry this game. Dalen Terry, even though he didn't have an outstanding game, he was there and doing the right things. At the start of the fourth quarter, Dayton Terry took over the offense as the point guard and was making smart plays, right? Getting people involved, getting to the rim. He looked confident in running this offense. But as we do as Bulls, what did we do? We stopped letting him be the point guard because Billy Donovan doesn't like to let people do the things they need to do, right? He did two or three great plays and then didn't run the point for like the rest of the fourth when he was in because just... Because that's what happens, right? But that was a good showing to see him in the clutch without a DeMar DeRozan step up and try to make things happen. And that takes me to the last thing I want to talk about, and that's effort. The Bulls need to stop waiting to try, okay? They go down by 20, okay, let's play. Oh, we got to five points below, we're going to stop playing hard. Oh, we're back down by 15, let's play again. The last minute and a half of this game, they're doing full court presses, double teams. Where was that six minutes earlier? For some reason, this is the one team that doesn't want to double team all full court plays, right? If you're down, if you're struggling in the fourth, play aggressive, play up, make them work more. But the Bulls just step back like they're going to magically have everything work out. And I need that to change. Billy needs to get in their ass and tell them, get up full court. Double team, play aggressive, do the things you need to do, not in the last minute, not in the last two minutes, but the whole fourth quarter, play that way. And if you do that from the first quarter, you might see that you don't even have to worry about the fourth quarter, okay? But what I want to do, I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below. How are you feeling about this game? How do you feel about DeMar DeRozan getting ejected? Do you like this more aggressive bad boys Bulls team. Let me know down below. And remember, if you're liking the channel, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. With that, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.